Hi, I'm Nishad and welcome to this new video tutorial of Bugisto. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out our new plugin that's the Bugisto Laravel Affiliate System. So, within the affiliate system, the main website owner pays commission to the affiliates for sending traffic to their website through the affiliate blog links. The affiliates on the other hand would be able to add or post different ads for the products and the text banners on the blog URL that they have added there and on the other hand the customers would be able to uh, tap on those particular ads there and they will be redirected to the main website there from where they'll be able to purchase the products and accordingly the affiliates would get the commission for the products that are sold through that referral there. So in today's video tutorial for the Bugisto Laravel uh, affiliate system, we'll be checking out the workflow at the affiliates and how the affiliates would be able to register on the web store there, how they'll be able to see the different account panel options that they'll get within the affiliate system there, how they'll be able to set up their payment preference, how they'll be able to with the product and the banner ads there and how they'll be able to post them up on their blog URL. Apart from that, we'll also be seeing the workflow at the customers and how the customers would be able to uh, tap on those ads on the referral uh, blog URLs there and how they'll be redirected to the main website for making the payment and to purchase the products there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial there, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so let's hop on to the storefront first and let's check the workflow at the affiliate end first and the rest of the workflow thereafter in the coming video we'll be checking out the workflow at the admins end for that I'll be creating another video so I'll be adding that URL as well within this particular video there so first of all let's check the affiliate end so for that let's hop on to the Bugisto storefront first so right now you can see that I'm at the Bugisto web store front end and uh, I'm a user who wants to become an affiliate. Uh, so there are two ways to do it. Uh, the, the first way to do it is to go to the sign up page on the web store front end. So let's go to the sign up page and here on the user registration where we can become a user you can see that we have the option to enter the blog URL where the affiliate after the registration would be able to post the ads at and here we also have a checkbox uh, where we have want to become an affiliate user and here the affiliate terms and conditions can also be checked by the affiliate user by tapping on the affiliate terms and uh, conditions there. So let's, let's register this user as an affiliate here. So let me enter the first name, last name. Let me enter the email john at the rate of smith.com. The password, let's confirm the password there. Uh, let's set up the blog URL where we'll be posting up the ads of the admin there and let's check this option to become an affiliate user and let's tap on the sign up button. After we have tapped on the sign up button, we, our account has been created successfully. Now it depends upon uh, whether the affiliate user auto approval has been set to enabled or not. If it has been set to auto approval there, then in that case when this particular user logs into his account panel there using his email and the password, he'll be able to see the complete uh, affiliate account panel options on the side hand panel there otherwise uh, he'll not be able to see if the auto approval has been set to know that so for this demonstration i've set the auto approval to yes so let's log into the account panel there of the affiliate user so i've logged into the affiliate user account panel and here you can see on the side hand panel here uh, up till address we have the customer account panel options and after the address we have the summary uh, the banners and ads, email campaign, traffic, sales, payment records, statistics, payment preferences and the blog URL there as well. And here you can see under the blog URL we can see uh, for the blog URL section we can see that we have been approved by the admin there. And if you are making any changes to the blog URL then uh, uh, the approval uh, needs to be done by the admin once again there. If you have updated your blog URL there from the admin backend panel that I'll be showing you in the coming video when we are checking out the admins end there. So 
right now we have seen how we can register as an affiliate user on the buggy store web store there and the different account panel options that we get after that uh, one more thing is that if I go to the admin backend panel and I go to settings here in the admin backend panel let me log into the admin backend panel once again there for the buggies to store there and let me close this out now if I go to the settings section and I go to affiliate system uh, here you can see that we have displayed blog link on registration so the blog link on registration page was enabled there in the one that we have just seen there and uh, we have also set the automatic approve affiliates to enable now if I hide this option that is display blog link on registration then in this uh, case what happens is that uh, the users for example let me log out of this particular section here and let's set it as display blog link on registration as disabled and let me update the affiliate data there and now if I go to the uh, registration page there or the sign up page I will not be able to see the blog URL and the option to become an affiliate user there now in this case for example let's register one more user there who wants to become an affiliate for example John Carter and let me set the email john at the rate of carter.com and let's set the password for the same admin and let's sign up let's save him up and let's log into john carter right now his account as a user so right now you can see that we have the account panel options of the customer there and after address we can see we have a become affiliate option in the case if we have set the display blog link on registration as disabled there so if I want to become an affiliate I can go to become affiliate I can enter the blog URL I can agree to the terms and conditions and I can save this up and then depending upon the auto approval whether enabled or disabled after the approval the account panel options of the affiliate would be available uh, to the affiliate user there for processing itself now let me log out of this particular user as well and let me log into one affiliate user for which uh, we have the data there so let me go to the sign in page and let me log into smith at the rate of webcool.com there uh, this is the one for which i have the data up there so let me log into his account panel there so here after the address you can see we have the summary so if we go to summary here we can see the overall records there with the total number of clicks on the ads by the users there uh, total number of unique clicks from the uh, unique ip addresses there total number of approved sales pending sales uh, the balance or the uh, payout uh, that needs to be made out to this particular affiliate user then the commission rates can be seen that have been set up by the admin from the back end panel there we have the minimum payout balance uh, that is uh, set by the admin as five dollars payment day of the month as first of every month per click amount that would be allotted one dollar per unique click two dollar per sale five percent would be the commission if a sale has been made from the affiliate users blog if a user comes to the his blog and uh, taps on a particular ad and is redirected to the admins website and uh, places the order on the admins website then uh, places the order at the admins website there then he'll be getting a five percent commission for that particular sale there itself so this was the summary there then we have the banners and ads now here uh, the affiliate users will find the product ads and the banner text ads the product ads are automatically displayed and uh, these are the products that the admin has added from the admin back end panel there of the bugger so web store so uh, depending upon the number of products there in the admin back end panel all of those products would be listed here under the product ads and from here the FTA user can copy the HTML code and can paste it within his blog URL there uh, for uh, this example I'll be showing you for example uh, I've created one uh, uh, page there for my blog URL and I've added the t-shirt black and uh, this is a product uh, Add there and this is the text banner and then I've added uh, buy a new pair of red shoes and this is the product uh, ad that I've added now let's come back to this particular section here so from here you can preview the particular ad as well this is how the ad would appear to the uh, users on the blog URL of the affiliate there 
then we have the banner text ads now the banner text ads are uh, to be created by the admin manually there after the admin has created them manually those banner text would be available and visible to the affiliate users under the banner text ads here and from here you can copy the html code and paste it within your uh, blog url as per your own requirement you can also preview the particular one by tapping on the preview and the particular thing or the ad or the uh, banner text ad would be appear uh, would appear in the preview to the affiliate user that itself now uh, one more thing is that uh, after the uh, banner and ads then we have the email campaigns so here the affiliate users can add multiple email addresses separated by a comma and can set up a subject and a message and can send mail to different users there for the promotional purposes uh, and can send the link of his blog url as well and after reading the blog url if the customers want they can tap on the different ads that are available within the particular blog url itself so from here you can send or set up the email campaigns as well then we have the traffic under the traffic you will be able to see the different ip addresses the referring url and the web date for each as per the requirement there uh after the traffic we have the sales here you'll be able to see the sales that have been made along with the order id the commission that the affiliate has gained the order status and the purchased on date along with the time is visible to the affiliate users then we have the payment records after the payouts have been made by the admin towards the affiliate users uh the payment uh, records would be displayed uh, to the affiliate users along with the transaction id the ipin transaction id the transaction amount and the transaction date along with the time as well under the statistics you will be able to see the daily and the monthly traffic uh, towards uh, your uh, blog url there uh, where you have posted the ads as you can see right now so this is the daily uh, traffic there uh, then we have the payment preference now uh, after you have successfully created an account as an affiliate on the uh, Bugisa web store there what you need to do is the very first thing that you need to do is you need to set up your payment preference now the payment preference can be selected depending upon the enabled payment methods from the admin backend panel those payment methods would be visible to the affiliate users here under the payment methods and here you can select the particular one for example here you can see that I have added the bank transfer payment as the payment method so whenever a payout is being made the detail that I have entered here for a particular payment method that particular payment method detail would be visible to the admin in the back end panel and the admin would accordingly send out the payment on that uh, preferred payment method itself so at a time you can save only one payment preference so if I go with the uh, for example paypal standard i can tap here on the save payment method then we need to enter the paypal email id then the paypal email email id would be saved and this would be set up as our prefer preferred uh, payment method there and lastly uh, we have the affiliate user status as you can see here we have the blog url and here you have to rank your URL where you want to promote the ads of the admin there. And you can see right now it's approved by the admin. Now let me show you the workflow at the uh, customers end who are coming to the affiliate users blog and are checking out the ads there, how they can place an order. And after placing the order, how the uh, details in the summary uh, uh, can be checked so here you can see that right now the clicks are 25 unique clicks are 9 approved sales are 2 pending sales are 0 and the balance is $10 right now if I go to the uh, effort users uh, blog and I tap on one of the links there or on one of the ads there for example I tap on this uh, product ad there then the particular product ad would be opened up or will be redirected, redirected basically to the product page of the particular product there for which the ad has been posted on the affiliate users uh, blog there and from here the uh, user can add it to the cart and can proceed further to place an order so right now we have tapped on one uh, ad there let's tap on the other one as well that's the uh, red shoes now if i come back to the summary section and i refresh this page you will see that the clicks would rise from to 27 now and the unique clicks have risen to 10 now i've added the product into the cart let's make a checkout there so i'll just tap on the checkout 
and here we'll fill the details. After filling the details, we'll just select the uh, shipping method. After selecting the shipping method, I'll choose the payment method. After selecting the payment method, we'll just scroll down and we'll place the order. So after we have placed the order, you can see that the order has been placed. Now if I go to the profile section here of the affiliate and I scroll down to the summary section, you can see that the pending sales is showing as one. So one product has been purchased by the customer and he was referred from the affiliate users blog to the main website there where the particular user placed the order for that particular product. Now if I go to the backend panel there and I go to affiliate system, let me log into the admin backend panel once again and I go to affiliate system. Here I can go to the sales section and here's the particular order that uh, was placed and it's not approved right now. So I'll check this up. I'll update it. I'll make it as approved and I'll submit it. I'll tap OK on the prompt there. Now here you'll see that uh, the pending sales would be zero and the approved sales would be three now. So pending sales is zero, approved sales is three and you can see that the balance amount is $5. Uh, so it has come to from 10, it has risen to $15 there. Right. So these were the account panel options uh, that the uh, affiliate users get that are the summary, banners in it, email campaigns, traffic, sales, payment records, statistics, payment preference and the blog URL uh, within the Bagisto Laravel uh, affiliate system. So yes, that was much about the affiliate and I hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding how a particular user would be able to register himself as an affiliate on the Bugiso web store there and the different account panel options that the affiliate users get under the own account panel and how the users uh, would be able to tap on the ads that have been placed on the affiliate users blog link there and how they can place the orders thereafter. So if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and if you still have any questions, queries, sessions or requirements then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of Bugiso there and uh, you can also reach out to us on our ticket system that is bagisto.uvdesk.com as well. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.